They say you are more likely to fall in love in great places. One of the critical factors to stir up human emotions is location. Korea's southern coasts have magnificent sceneries in store that will naturally make you fall in love. The amazing natural views there will also make you happy and turn you into a main character of a K-wave drama. It's romantic sometimes and full of activities at others. Let us introduce you a great destination for K-wave couples in Tongyang and Goje in Gyeongsangbuk province. Just the sight of each other or a walk with each other will kindle the romance here. You can have cozy ocean views in the dead of winter and warm sunshine always glows on the ocean blue waters. This is the southern coast of Gyeongsangnam-do province with a year-round view of a calm ocean as they are surrounded by numerous islands. Especially Tongyangshi has a very special ocean view from this place. It's Miruksan Mountain, regarded as a great vista point as you can view the southern coast at a glance. On top of the mountain, you can see the Hallyo Hesang National Park at a glance. This is an enormous overwater national park that covers islands and waterways in the southern coasts and some of the coastal areas. The best way to fully appreciate the scenery is the cable car, they say. Operating to 8-10th point of the ridge in Miruksan Mountain, this cable car runs the longest distance in Korea. When you move between the peaks in the cable car, you can enjoy thrills as well as majestic views. A 10-minute cable car ride in the air and a little bit of hike. You will reach the peak 461 meters above sea level. Labeled as a Halong Bay of Korea, the area has been recognized worldwide for this invaluable spectacle. Collaboration of the sea, the islands, and the land has created this sublime scenery. You'll forget about all worldly cares before Mother Nature and recharge your body and soul. Miriksam Mountain has another attraction in store for you. It's for activity-loving couples called Luji. There are only six of these in the world. Luji is a ride where you ride a special cart on the track, purely relying on the gravity of the slope. The two decide to do it themselves. The cable car in the sky and the luge on Earth between its mind-blowing speedy segments. And the one and only 360-degree loop in the world, veteran luge riders from overseas even come for it to enjoy the new track. It's time for you to take a break. In Namnyeon at Tongyang Port is a hot spot that keeps drawing young people called Dongpiryang Village. Dongpiryang Village is a village with cute murals located on a mound. You can meet some fairy tale like sceneries here. Look, do you see this on the ground? Look at, look at. Ah, so cool. It used to be an ordinary hillside neighborhood for the poor, but as it launched a mural project, it became famous through word of mouth. It now has become an attraction where numerous people come to take photos. It's fun to look for great photo spots hidden in every alley. Once in Dongpirang village, you can easily take 100 best photos of your life. At Dongporu Pavilion, 
Built on the highest point of the village, you can see Tongyonghang Port and the city at a glance. The pavilion, which was demolished during Joseon period, was restored its current state with the renaissance of the village. Right below Dongpirang village is Tongyong Chungang Market. <laughs> this is Tongyong's classic traditional market where they sell all kinds of things, including fresh fish and dried seafood, Tongyong specialties, and there's nothing you can't find in this market. Ah, okay. It's got some salt to it too, though. That was salty, right? I like that a uh -huh. lot. They say you must try gulbang here, Tongyang's signature treat. The warm red bean paste feeling and sweet honey taste wash away the fatigue from traveling. Another attraction near Tongyonghang port, a turtle-shaped ship is impressive. Admiral Lee Sun-shin, the naval commander at the time of the Imjin War, built a turtle ship to fight the battles. Many tourists from inside and outside Korea flock here as it educates them on the wisdom of our ancestors and the Imjin War. Next, we went to Gojedo Island, an island city below Tongyang. Gojedo, with magnificent nature, is especially known for its clean beaches. Among them, Kujora Beach draws the largest number of tourists. The harmony of calm waves all year round, shallow waters, and fine sands creates a romantic picture. We are at the cruise boat Key right next to Kujora Beach. The Key has yet another special tour in store for you. <laughs> and fish. <laughs> On Wedo Island, bound cruise boat. Beautiful. What do you think those things are out there? Uh, the name means Gunggangsam Mountain of the Sea, and it was designated as a scenic spot thanks to its unique shape. You can enjoy a special tour while weaving through the rocks on board the cruise boat. If you plan on looking around Wedo Island, don't leave out Hegengang River from your itinerary. After the tour of Hegengang River, we reached Wedo Botania. This is an overwater botanical garden within the Hallyo Hesang National Park, and the entire island is designed and managed as a botanical garden. You can see charming winter forests in Botania in December. Boosting different appeals in each season, this garden displays even more colors in the spring. It has over 3,000 plants. Due to warm climate in the south and the effects of the winds and the sea, the garden has some rare plant species by Korean standards and shows off an exotic landscape. It is also called an island created by the sky, the winds, and the sea, and nurtured by humans. This tiny island gives you a sense of leisure. A variety of sceneries it offers attract tourists year-round. Another reason it is popular is because it appeared in many K-wave dramas. When you take a stroll around Wedo Botania with your lover, you'll feel like a main character from a K-wave drama. The last stop on the Southern Coast tour is so-called Windy Hill, where you'll face the breeze of South Sea and the wide open ocean. This small hill at the southernmost tip of Koje, wind chills and vibes change from season to season. The low hill is great for light trekking. 
Looking out into the sea in peace, you can hear the wind sing. The low-lying hill. A cozy port next to the hill. Islands floating harmoniously in the waters. And the shape of winds that cannot be captured by camera. Everything you see and feel is a picture skew here. A couple walking in the scenery lands into the beautiful picture as well. A destination for those who are desperate for love, from the daily grind in the same place and the same scenery every day. If you'd like to be a character from a K-Wave star, a trip to the southern coasts in Gyeongsangnam-do province is the answer for you.